I'm always interested in how bits of history intersect with each other. And one of the news articles on Radio Television Aaron has today brought that into focus for me. No, not that bit about hard drive. That's just me looking for an external hard drive. Um, basically, you had Simon Harris here, who's a new T-shirt, in a back and forth with Isaac Herzog from Israel. Tishok Simon Harris has tried to dampen down a, a diplomatic row with President of Israel, Ashley Herzog, and said he has less than zero interest in getting involved in some back, sort of back and forth. This relates to the idea that Ireland may soon um, recognise Palestine as a state. But what was of more interest to me was that most people don't realise the connections between Isaac Herzog himself and Ireland. This is Shame Herzog, which, who was Isaac Herzog's father. Now, I'll read a bit of his biography out in a minute, but I'm more interested in this bit further down. Shame Herzog was born on Clifton Park Avenue in Belfast as the son of Rabbi Yitzhak Havalevi Herzog, who was Chief Rabbi of Ireland from 1919 to 1937 and later of Mandatory Palestine in the State of Israel. So James Herzog, if he was still alive, of course, he's been dead, I think, since some time now, 1997, could quite easily have claimed Irish citizenship with no problem. So for that matter, could Isaac Herzog? <laughs> he would have no problem writing to the Irish government and pointing out that his father was born in Belfast and that he lived in Dublin for quite a long time. So he'd quite easily have a good case to be an Irish citizen himself. But more interestingly yet is his father and his father's connection to Irish republicanism. This is Yitzhak Halevi Herzog, who was sometimes called the Sinn Féin rabbi. Um, he was the one of the first chief, chief rabbis, of, the, the first chief rabbi of Ireland, in fact, and for around 15 years. He was also the Ashkenazi chief rabbi of the British Mandate of Palestine. He was highly supportive of Irish republicanism, spoke Irishly fluently, and is reputed to have hid members of the first Doyle and people who belong to the IRA in his house. He was, so there's, there's kind of a nod sort of strange conflict going on here of hist two historical families meeting each other and of an Irishman, Simon Harris, clashing with an Israeli bloke whose family are actually steeped in Irish history as well, which most people won't realize watching this. Let's have a look at down the bottom here. Herzog served as rabbi of Belfast from 1916 to 19 and was appointed rabbi of Dublin in 1919, a fluent speaker of the Irish language. He supported the first Doyle and the Irish Republican cause during the Irish War of Independence and became known as a Sinn Féin rabbi. He was also a strong supporter of the Ergen, who people may be aware of who are aware of Israeli history. I just found it a strange sort of odd situation where these two are now clashing over the whole situation in Palestine, where the fallout of the British Empire is still very much with us. Uh, well, you could call it either a century later, 80 years later, or look at it as a, a, the strange, twisty tale of empires and how they've, how they've worked. Let's see what happens anyway with Ireland recognising Palestine. I don't think it's going to, I think this row is going to rumble on and on.